now to this surprising discovery that is defying the laws of science. Uh, crowds are flocking to the small town of Gower, Missouri to view a Catholic nun's body that appears to show no signs of decay. The town of Gower, Missouri is filled with excitement over an extraordinary event, the body of a nun that has remained miraculously preserved without decay. It's, it's nothing if not extraordinary. It's absolutely a miracle. Visitors from far and wide flock to witness this marvel, their curiosity mingled with profound faith. It's being called a miracle in Missouri, tucked right inside of these church doors. This rare occurrence both shocks and inspires, prompting us to reconsider our understanding of mortality. These incorruptible saints, defying the passage of time, seem to offer a tangible connection to the divine. Come with us as we unravel the mystery surrounding these timeless saints and feel the unexplainable power they might possess. I've never heard of that in my life. That's one of the most rare events in the whole of United States. And it's not normal, uh, even with embalmed bodies. The skin of the saint remained intact, despite centuries passing. If you're curious about women who were deeply spiritual in the Catholic Church's history, you might find St. Veronica Giuliani's story quite interesting. She's known for her extraordinary spiritual journeys and, you might find this surprising, her body's resistance to damage. Her life teaches us that being truly holy, or close to God, isn't limited by being a man or a woman. Veronica was born long ago in 1660, in a place that's part of today's Italy. When she was still quite young, she decided to join a religious group called the Capuchin Poor Clare Monastery. Despite facing opposition and not always being supported, she had a tough life there, suffering from diseases and enduring harsh treatments from a priest who took things too far. Veronica experienced vivid dreams where she saw the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and these dreams left marks on her body similar to the stigmata, wounds that resemble those of Christ. She also received deep insights into her spiritual journey. However, her path wasn't easy. Since she was a woman in a mostly male environment, some church officials doubted her experiences and accused her of making things up. Imagine facing such harsh skepticism while also battling illness. Remarkably, this brave woman never lost her faith or hope. Eventually, her truthfulness was recognized after her spiritual diaries were carefully examined and found authentic. In her final years, she focused on teaching other nuns about the importance of connecting with Christ's sufferings and spread her beliefs far and wide. She passed away in 1727 at the age of 66. Now let's talk about what happened after her death. Despite centuries passing since her death, her body was found to be in an incredible state. St. Veronica's body lies in a tomb in a monastery in De Castello, Italy, nearly three centuries later and it still draws people who respect and admire her. When scientists examined parts of her body in 2001, they were astounded to see no signs of decomposition. Her skin remained intact, and her facial features were still recognizable. The experts in charge were puzzled, since they couldn't attribute the preservation to any known natural reasons. From her battles with illness and disbelief to the mysterious condition of her body after death, Veronica's life stands as a testament to courage faith, and saintliness. Whenever you feel inadequate in your own spiritual journey, remember this extraordinary saint. She continues to inspire and intercede for us from a place of eternal purity. After seeing Saint Veronica's story, let's learn about Saint Bernadette Subirus and her lasting impact. A saint's perpetually youthful corpse. Do fascinating and mysterious stories from history, particularly those tied to spiritual matters, catch your attention? If so, the phenomenon of incorruptible saints might intrigue you. These are saints whose bodies have not decayed in the usual way after death. Among them, Saint Bernadette Subirus stands out prominently. She experienced profound mystical encounters with the Virgin Mary in the small town of Lourdes, France, and her story is both captivating and awe-inspiring. When Bernadette was just a young girl of 14, she reported seeing visions of a radiant lady in a local cave. Despite her lack of formal education, making her unable to read or write, Bernadette was able to describe with remarkable clarity the figure who communicated with her in the regional Occitan language. 
Initially, her claims were met with skepticism by local authorities and community leaders. However, her sincerity and the subsequent miraculous events turned skeptics into believers. According to Bernadette, the beautiful lady instructed her to dig at a specific spot in the cave, leading to the discovery of a spring. This spring, as stories of its healing powers spread, drew thousands to lords, each seeking healing and spiritual solace. Despite her newfound fame, Bernadette's life was marked by humility and suffering. She passed away from a long illness, believed to be tuberculosis, at the young age of 35 in 1879. Following her death, she was laid to rest in the Nevers Convent, and her body was exhumed for the first time 30 years later in 1909. Contrary to her sisters and others' expectations, who anticipated finding mere bones, Bernadette's body was found to be astonishingly well-preserved. Her face, hands, and feet retained lifelike qualities, and her skin, described as soft yet dry, showed no signs of typical decay. This discovery stunned those present and those who would come to learn of it. Further examinations in 1919 and 1925 reaffirmed this phenomenon. Bernadette's body remained intact, unaffected by time or natural processes. Today, visitors to the chapel of St. Gildard can witness St. Bernadette's body, which lies in repose within a crystal casket. Dressed with modesty, her serene expression gives the impression of peaceful slumber rather than death. Remarkably, there has been no embalming or chemical preservation. Her body remains as it was. This extraordinary state of preservation has piqued scientific curiosity and debate. Some attribute it to environmental factors, such as the particular dryness of the soil or an absence of air in her coffin, while others view it as a miraculous testament to her sanctity. Next, we dive into Saint Rita of Castia's life, a story filled with hope and healing. Saint Rita, her body tells her tale. In the year 1381, there was a woman named Rita who lived during a challenging period in Italy's history. Rita found herself in a very unhappy marriage at a young age. Despite the difficulties and the poor treatment she endured from her husband, she never lost her faith. Instead, she turned to prayer, seeking solace and strength in her connection with God. After the death of her husband, Rita sought a new path in life. She joined the Augustinian Order of Castia, dedicating herself to a life of prayer and contemplation. In the quiet of the convent, Rita's faith deepened. She became known for her extraordinary love for Jesus, her unwavering commitment to forgiveness, and her efforts to bring peace to those around her. St. Rita of Cassia was born in 1381. And as a young woman, she was married off. And her husband was not exactly the model of kindness. Ultimately, through her prayers and sacrifices, she saw her husband move from an angry, belligerent man to being a man of much more peaceable demeanor. Rita's journey on earth ended in 1457, and she was laid to rest in the convent's graveyard. However, her story didn't end there. A few years after her burial, her tomb was opened, and what people found inside was astonishing. Rita's body hadn't decayed as expected. This unexpected discovery sent ripples of wonder and reverence throughout the Christian community and beyond. The undamaged state of St. Rita's body became a powerful symbol of her saintliness and the divine favor she had earned through her life of piety and charity. Word of this miraculous preservation spread far and wide, attracting pilgrims from all corners to visit Castia and witness the phenomenon for themselves. Those who visited found themselves moved and inspired by the sight of her preserved remains, many experiencing profound spiritual awakenings. As time passed, natural changes did occur to St. Rita's body. Her face and hands, while partly preserved, began to show signs of age. In response, a wax mask and gloves were respectfully applied to maintain her dignity and the sacredness of her physical remains. This unique approach to preserving her body ensures that Rita's legacy continues to touch the hearts of those who visit her 
reminding them of the power of faith, the importance of forgiveness, and the transformative impact of a life lived in accordance with God's will. Today, Saint Rita is venerated as the patron saint of impossible causes, with countless people attesting to the miracles and answered prayers they've experienced through her intercession. Her preserved body, displayed at her shrine in Kasha, serves as a tangible connection to the divine, offering visitors a profound opportunity to reflect on their own lives, the challenges they face, and the power of faith to overcome adversity. The story of Saint Rita exemplifies the transformative potential of grace and the triumph of love over suffering. Her incorruptible body stands as a testament to the everlasting truths of the Catholic faith and the enduring presence of divine grace in our world. A visit to her shrine is not just a journey to a historical site, it's an invitation to experience the mystery and awe of sacred connection. Let's continue with Saint Charbel Makhlouf's tale, a story that makes us question life and death, the monk who defied decay. In the 19th century, a devout Lebanese Catholic priest named Charbel Makhlouf lived a life of deep spiritual commitment. Known for his intense dedication to prayer and notable sanctity, Charbel's life was a testament to the power of faith. His earthly journey came to an end when he passed away after a stroke at the age of 53 in 1898. However, Charbel's story didn't conclude with his death. In May 1901, over two years after his burial, a startling discovery was made when his body was exhumed. Remarkably, it showed no signs of the expected decomposition. Witnesses reported that his body was soft, his skin had taken on a yellowish hue, but all signs of decay were absent. Even more astonishingly, there were claims that his internal organs were still intact. This mysterious preservation led many to ponder the divine mysteries and the sacred powers that might be at work. After thorough examinations, Charbel's remains were redressed in fresh monastic garments and placed in a new marble tomb, prepared to honor his holy life. Over the years, the condition of Saint Charbel's body has continued to astound both believers and skeptics. Repeated examinations, even up to a century later, have consistently confirmed the inexplicable preservation of his remains. In 2020, the latest opening of his tomb revealed that his condition remained remarkably unchanged, as if he had passed away only recently. The enduring preservation of Saint Charbel's body, beyond natural explanation, serves as a compelling testament to his holiness and the life of prayer he led. Although the public does not have direct access to view his remains, the knowledge of his incorrupt body reinforces the belief in his sainthood and the power of divine intervention. For many, the phenomenon of incorrupt saints like Charbel is a source of wonder and spiritual inspiration. It challenges our understanding of life and death and invites us to contemplate the mysterious workings of the divine. The undecayed state of these holy figures, undisturbed by the passage of time, symbolizes the eternal nature of the soul and the triumph of spiritual purity over mortal decay. Moving on, we meet Saint Virginia Centurion, whose life and legacy are all about kindness and faith. Virginia's Endless Acts of Love Many of us find joy in uncovering the mysteries of the past, especially when it involves learning about holy figures and saints. Recently, our curiosity has been captured by a fascinating individual named Saint Virginia Centurion. She became well known, not only because of her devout life, but also due to a remarkable event after her passing. Virginia was brought into this world in 1747 in the beautiful city of Genoa, located in Italy. From her early years, she faced numerous challenges. Her life took a tough turn when she lost her mother at a young age, leaving her in the care of her aunt, who did not treat her kindly. Despite facing constant mistreatment and feeling unloved, Virginia's strong belief in her faith helped her to endure and find strength. At the tender age of 16, Virginia dedicated herself to working with the charitable group known as the St. Vincent de Paul Society. She made a heartfelt vow to serve those in need, including the poor, the ill, and prisoners. Despite earning very little, Virginia devoted her entire existence to acts of kindness, tirelessly helping others. She frequently visited hospitals, shelters, and other places where the destitute sought aid, offering them comfort and assistance with unwavering compassion. Virginia's health was frail, but her commitment to aiding the less fortunate 
never wavered. Tragically, at the age of 36, Virginia succumbed to typhus, contracted while she was tending to the sick. Her death was a significant loss, and many felt as though they had lost a guardian angel. In 1983, nearly two centuries after her demise, Virginia's body was exhumed as a part of the canonization process to declare her a saint. What was uncovered astounded everyone, with her skin, joints, and internal organs appearing almost lifelike. Scientists and experts were baffled as they could not find any scientific explanation for her body's condition, which showed no signs of decay. Today, many believers travel to the Shrine Church in Genoa, where St. Virginia's sacred remains are kept. The extraordinary preservation of her body serves as a powerful testament to the enduring nature of altruistic deeds. St. Virginia Centurion continues to inspire those facing adversity, demonstrating that steadfast faith and compassion can bring healing and make a lasting impact, transcending even death. Now, let's explore St. Teresa Margaret's life, showing us how young faith can leave a big mark. The Saint Who Slept in Peace In the realm of Catholicism, the story of St. Teresa Margaret of the Sacred Heart stands out as one of pure devotion and miraculous occurrences. Her journey began as a young member of the Discalced Carmelite Order, where she dedicated her life to prayer, repentance, and divine service. Born Anna Maria Rady, she led a life of spirituality until her untimely death in 1770, at the young age of 23. What followed her death was nothing short of extraordinary, as her body underwent an incredible transformation, resisting decay, a phenomenon that continues to inspire and attract believers globally. The enduring condition of St. Teresa Margaret's body serves as a powerful symbol of her sanctity and the divine love bestowed upon her. A decade after her passing, when her tomb was opened, onlookers were greeted by an astonishing sight. Her body was preserved, appearing serene as if she were merely in a state of rest. Observers noted her peaceful expression, her eyes gently closed, and her facial features perfectly intact. Unlike many other preserved bodies that become rigid over time, St. Teresa Margaret's remains have retained a remarkable flexibility, adding to the marvel of her incorruptible state. This miraculous preservation has led many to feel a profound sense of awe and wonder, especially when they witness the suppleness of her limbs. Believers attribute St. Teresa Margaret's undecayed state to her deep spirituality and her intimate connection with God, fostered by her devout prayers and adherence to the mystical teachings of St. Teresa of Avila. Her unyielding faith and profound love for Christ are believed to be crucial factors in the protection and preservation of her physical form. Visitors to her shrine often report a profound sense of serenity and spiritual upliftment. Some even claim to detect a gentle fragrance of roses around her, a scent commonly associated with the sanctity and the divine presence of incorrupt saints. This subtle aroma acts as a physical reminder of St. Teresa Margaret's ongoing prayers and the enduring nature of her holiness. The shrine housing St. Teresa Margaret's incorrupt body has become a place of pilgrimage, where the faithful gather to pray and seek blessings. Located in the Carmelite house of Santa Maria della Scala in Florence, Italy, her revered remains continue to inspire acts of faith and devotion. Stories of miracles and blessings attributed to her intercession underscore her continued spiritual presence and advocacy. The phenomenon of incorruptibility remains a mystery within the Catholic Church, a divine sign not fully understood by human reason. It is important to note that incorruptibility alone does not confer sainthood. Rather, it is seen as a divine gift to some, underscoring their closeness to God and the purity of their lives. St. Teresa Margaret of the Sacred Heart exemplifies total dedication to God, and her imperishable body reflects her deep union with the divine. Her story serves as a beacon of hope and a reminder of the eternal rewards that await those who walk the path of love and faithfulness. It underscores the transformative power of faith, the beauty of sanctity, and the mysterious ways in which divine grace manifests within the Church. Join us on St. Francis Xavier's journey, showing how his work and body have lasted over centuries. The Everlasting Jesuit Explorer St. Francis Xavier is renowned across the world, celebrated not just for his spiritual journey, 
but for the extraordinary condition of his body parts, which have remained intact over centuries. Known as a pioneer among the Jesuits, Francis played a crucial role during the 1500s, dedicating his life to spreading the teachings of Catholicism far and wide. What makes his tale even more compelling is the discovery that, astonishingly, his body has been preserved in almost perfect condition for over four centuries. This preservation is widely regarded as a testament to his virtue and the divine work he carried out. Born in Spain in the year 1506, Francis Xavier harbored a profound ambition from a young age to disseminate Christian beliefs across the globe. This mission propelled him across vast stretches of Asia, where he tirelessly preached and converted countless individuals to Christianity. Although his journey came to an end in 1552 on the Chinese island of Shangshuan, his spiritual influence did not die with him. In fact, Francis Xavier is credited with bringing over a million souls in India and other regions to Christianity, his legacy echoing through the ages. The real marvel, however, emerged when his body was exhumed in 1614, intended for reburial. Witnesses were astounded to find his body not only intact but also flexible, as though he had passed away only recently. Despite the passage of time, his skin, although darkened and contracted, cloaked his bones tightly, and his internal organs and facial features were remarkably preserved. This phenomenon was interpreted as divine proof of Francis's sanctity and God's favor, a clear indication that he was chosen for sainthood. Subsequent examinations, particularly in the 18th and 19th centuries, revealed that his body showed no further decomposition, adding to the mystery and awe surrounding his figure. St. Francis de Xavier's remains have been housed since 1642 in the Basilica of Bom Jesus in Goa, India, resting in a silver coffin that has become a site of pilgrimage. Visitors to the basilica are often left in disbelief as they gaze upon his preserved, though discolored, body displayed for all to see. The preservation of his remains is so extraordinary that it continues to stun scientists and believers alike. Extensive medical examinations, particularly one notable investigation in 1953, have failed to uncover any natural explanation for the preservation, such as fungal infections or the use of embalming substances. This enduring state stands as a powerful reminder of the divine and the miracles that transcend earthly existence. Despite the trials and tribulations he faced, including dangerous travels, diseases, and the countless challenges of missionary life, St. Francis Xavier's indomitable spirit and dedication to spreading faith have left an indelible mark on the Catholic community. His incredible story of perseverance, faith, and divine grace has inspired generations of believers around the world, solidifying his place as one of the most venerated saints in the Catholic tradition. The preservation of his body continues to be a symbol of eternal life and God's miraculous power, a beacon of hope and faith for the faithful. Discover San Juan Maria Vian's deep care and mystery in the small town of Ars, San Juan's never-ending compassion. When we look at the lives of saints, it's their deep care for others that often stands out the most. One good example is San Juan Maria Vianney, also known by many as the Cure of Ours. His life was filled with moments that showed how much he genuinely cared for people, even more than the miraculous events that happened around him. San Juan Maria was born in a small place in France in 1786. He wasn't great at school and found learning tough, but he felt a strong pull in his heart to become a priest. This wasn't an easy time to start this journey because the French Revolution had shaken the country and he couldn't start his education until he was 26 years old. Even though books and learning were difficult for him, San Juan Maria never gave up. Through constant prayer and determination, he transformed into a key figure known for his deep faith and understanding heart. In 1815, he became a priest and was sent to Ars Ars was a small and forgotten town where faith was not strong anymore. San Juan Maria worked tirelessly there. He brought people back to their faith by listening to their confessions for 12 to 16 hours a day, offering advice and holding mass with deep respect and love. He was there for everyone, 
No matter how cold it was or how tired he might have been, always ready to listen and help without passing judgment. His kindness made people feel seen and understood. He brought them hope and comfort, and his reputation for this deep, caring nature spread far and wide. Soon, people from all corners of France and even from other countries flocked to Ars every day to talk to him. Despite his growing fame, he stayed humble, focusing only on helping others and deepening his own connection with God. Even when he was not busy with his priestly duties, people reported seeing him in deep prayer, sometimes even lifted from the ground, a sight that added to the awe surrounding him. When he died in 1859, more than 20,000 people attended his funeral, a testament to how many lives he had touched. Today, people still visit ours to seek guidance or solace from San Juan Maria Vianney. His body, which remains soft and lifelike even after 150 years, defies the usual process of decay. This preservation is seen as a sign of his saintliness, inspiring those who come to visit him. Visitors often feel a profound sense of peace and reverence, with some reporting a sweet fragrance around his remains, a scent that many associate with the sacred and untouchable. San Juan Maria Vianney's undecayed body strengthens his role as a guiding light in the Catholic Church. It's a tangible sign of the power of faith and a reminder that anyone can achieve holiness through sincerity and kindness. Devotees and pilgrims from around the globe continue to flock to his shrine, seeking his intercession, comfort, and blessings, amazed by the mystery of his incorruptibility. This phenomenon encourages us to ponder the divine mysteries and the sacred that exists in our world. San Juan Maria Vianney, through his unwavering kindness and dedication to prayer, stands as a beacon of compassion and love. The concept of incorruptible bodies remains a profound mystery, a sign that intertwines the divine with the mortal. It makes us consider the enduring presence of saints among us, living through their everlasting influence and intercessions. Next, let's go back in time to see St. Nicholas of Tolentino's enduring faith and mystery. Nicholas, the timeless helper. In the year 1245, a baby boy named Nicholas was born. This baby would grow up to be known as St. Nicholas of Tolentino. He lived his life in Italy during the 1300s, a long time ago. Nicholas became a very special and respected person throughout his life. He was deeply religious and started numerous religious groups to help spread good teachings. He always tried to help others whenever he could and followed a very strict fasting routine, which means he often didn't eat much to show his devotion. Throughout his life, St. Nicholas did many extraordinary things that people thought were miracles, which are like amazing events that can't be easily explained. These actions made him very famous and beloved. He lived a long life and passed away when he was 82 years old in the year 1305. After he died, people placed his body in the ground at a church called the Basilica of Fermo. What's really fascinating is that over the years, people opened his tomb many times to check on his body. Each time they looked, they were shocked to find that his body hadn't decayed like most do after death. Normally, bodies start to break down pretty quickly, but not St. Nicholas. SS. His skin, muscles, and even the inside parts were all still there. He looked almost like he was just asleep. Observers noted that his skin was still soft, and his body parts like arms and toes could still be moved. His blood was still present in his body, and his skin appeared healthy and natural. Astonishingly, his tongue retained its natural red color, just like that of someone living. In the year 1881, which is more than half a millennium after St. Nicholas died, his tomb was opened for what is said to be the last time. Considering that most bodies decompose and turn to bones within a few decades, the condition of St. Nicholas's remains puzzled many, including scientists. However, the Catholic Church believes his body's preservation is a sign of his holiness and purity during his lifetime. This story serves as a powerful testimony to St. Nicholas's sanctity. If you ever visit Italy, seeing St. Nicholas's preserved body is a remarkable experience that you shouldn't miss. Let's meet St. Catherine Labor and see how her silent message still speaks volumes today. The visionary who never aged. From a young age, 
Many are told stories of Catholic saints and their miraculous acts, like healing the sick or their bodies remaining intact after death. Saint Catherine Labor is one such figure, whose life continues to inspire and intrigue many. Famous for her mystical visions and the creation of the miraculous medal, Saint Catherine's story is particularly notable, not just for her spiritual experiences, but also for the miraculous state of her body long after her passing. Catherine was born in France in the year 1806 and chose to dedicate her life to serving others by joining the Daughters of Charity. She is remembered for her unwavering commitment to aiding those in need, particularly the sick and the impoverished. In 1830, Catherine experienced profound visions of the Virgin Mary in her community's Mother House Chapel in Paris. In these visions, Mary provided detailed instructions for creating a special medal, later known as the Miraculous Medal, adorned with meaningful symbols. This medal quickly spread worldwide, becoming a cherished symbol of faith for many. Despite the heavenly messages she received, Catherine remained humble and focused on her mission to serve others, rarely speaking of her mystical experiences. She passed away quietly in 1876, at the age of 78, and was laid to rest within her religious community's grounds. In 1933, her remains were exhumed as part of the process for her recognition as a venerated figure. To the astonishment of all present, Catherine's body was discovered in a state of perfect preservation, as if she had only recently passed away. This remarkable condition prompted the decision to relocate her remains to the Mother House Chapel, where they remain visible to the public. Visitors from around the world flock to the chapel, drawn by the stories of her visions and the inexplicable state of her body. The enduring preservation of St. Catherine Labor's body, especially her flexible limbs and the lifelike appearance of her face, remains a mystery as she was never embalmed. This phenomenon is viewed by many as a testament to her holiness and humility. Regular inspections confirm that her remarkable state is not the result of any known preservation techniques. We'll now look at Blessed Pope Pius IX, exploring how his life and body have stood the test of time. Pius IX's Eternal Witness. In the history of the Catholic Church, there are many fascinating stories, especially about saints and popes whose bodies have mysteriously remained intact for hundreds of years after their deaths. One of these intriguing stories belongs to Blessed Pope Pius IX. This remarkable man was born in the year 1792 and lived until 1878. He held the significant position of Bishop of Rome, more commonly known as the Pope, starting from the year 1846 right up until his death. This means he was the leader of the Catholic Church for over 30 years, making him one of the longest-serving popes in history. The story of Blessed Pope Pius IX does not end with his death. What's truly remarkable is what happened to his body afterwards. Like other holy figures, such as Saint Nicholas of Tolentino, the body of Pius IX has been preserved in a way that is both astonishing and mysterious. His body can be seen today underneath the Grand St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican City. When Pius IX passed away in 1878, he was initially laid to rest in a crypt beneath St. Peter Awes. However, a few years later, in 1881, there was a need to move his body. This was when something incredible was discovered. His body hadn't decayed. Instead, it remained whole and remarkably preserved. When people witnessed the moving of his remains, they noted that his skin, muscles, and internal organs were all still intact, and they were even more surprised to see that there was liquid, resembling tears, coming from his nose. The preservation of Blessed Pope Pius IX's body is considered by many within the Vatican and beyond as a testament to his devout life and his deep connection to God. It is seen as a physical sign of his holiness. What makes this even more extraordinary is that over 140 years have passed since his death, and his body remains largely undamaged, a rare occurrence compared to the natural process of decomposition that affects most human remains after death. Visiting the Vatican to witness the preserved body of Blessed Pope Pius IX is an experience many recommend. It's not every day that one gets to see such a direct and unusual link to history. The sight of his body, which defies common scientific understanding of decay, 
is something that not only draws the faithful, but also intrigues historians and scientists. This phenomenon, often referred to as incorruptibility, remains one of the Catholic Church's most compelling and debated mysteries. Despite the passage of more than 150 years, the reasons behind the preservation of Pius IX's body are still not fully understood. Some see it as a miracle, while others look for scientific explanations. Yet regardless of the reason, the story of blessed Pope Pius IX continues to inspire and captivate people from all over the world. His enduring physical presence serves as a symbol of the lasting impact of faith, devotion, and the mysteries that still surround many aspects of religious history. Have we witnessed a true miracle in Missouri, or is there a scientific explanation waiting to be discovered? Share your thoughts and feelings with us. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more intriguing stories like this.